Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Brie. Oh man, it's been a long time guys. Well, I mean, well, yeah, it's been a few weeks. I just haven't really been wanting to really talk about anything. So you guys know the shows that I review, they're not on right now. So, you know, once they return, which is mostly going to be in the fall, that's when I'll be doing my reviews for the shows that I normally review. But as far as anything else, I haven't been wanting to talk about anything. So I'm just going to be on here. I'm just going to give my opinions and thoughts on certain things that I've seen in media, um, certain shows that I've watched. And um, I don't know, I'm just going to just talk about randomness. So, <laughs> But anyway, thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my videos. Um, and y'all, we just gonna get right into it. All right, y'all, let's get into it. Okay, so let's see, cause guys, there's no script for this or anything. I, of course, I don't have any notes cause I mean, I'm not reviewing a show, but I'm gonna give my thoughts on a few things that I've been seeing lately. So the first thing I wanna talk about is, okay, we'll talk about The Real Housewives of New Jersey, right? So what was that, the finale episode that was on this past Sunday? So I saw that, that whole lunch meeting scene was a mess. That show is so toxic. And I saw some people online say like, oh, it's worse than Potomac. And I'm like, it is. Absolutely not. Not me. Certainly not I. But honestly, I kind of, well, I don't know, y'all. I think they're on the same level, to be honest. We'll see. I'm hearing that this new season of Potomac is, I guess, a little bit of kumbaya. But... If it is, compared to Jersey, yeah, Jersey's toxic. I don't know what to say. Um, Teresa has got to stop with this victim stuff with her husband. I, I mean, I'm really getting sick and tired of it. And I'm sick of the whole her versus Melissa storyline that's been going on for 10 years. We're over it. They don't like each other. It is what it is. The whole thing with Margaret... Margaret. And I like Margaret. She is a mess. <laughs> but Margaret, you should have just let it go with Teresa. You sending those flowers um, in the previous episode, she sent those funeral flowers over to Teresa's house when Teresa had her lawyer over there to have some type of evidence on Margaret, which I'm still trying to figure out because I'm like, where is the evidence? I'm only going by what your lawyer is saying. He can say anything. But anyway, I'm just like, girl, you should have let that go. But y'all tell me what y'all thought of that. A lot of people thought it was epic. It was like one of the most iconic scenes in Real Housewives history. <sighs> A mess. Anyway, so back to the whole lunch meeting situation. Of course, Jen and Danielle, Jen Aiden, of course, they got into it. And then, Je uh, I'm sorry, then Danielle wanted to basically fight Jen and just was going off. I think she lunged at her across the table. So I, I'm just like, y'all would, we are too old for this. Like we are too old for this. Y'all really need to chill off that. Then to hear this, this bomb that Margaret put out saying how supposedly Jackie met up with Louis' ex a few years ago, I guess to get back at Teresa because they were beefing. And even when Margaret was telling Teresa this, like Teresa, you could tell because she can't stand Margaret so bad that she just, it didn't matter what Margaret said. It was just, I can't stand you. Even though Jackie did this to me, I don't really care just because I can't stand you. I don't need no lecture from you about how to conduct myself in this house. And she just didn't want to hear the truth. So I don't know what to say about that. Um, of course, um, Rachel, Fuda, and Teresa, they're not getting along. 
Like, honestly, I I'm tired. And I think I heard that Andy's doing a reboot of New Jersey, allegedly. So I'm not sure about that. But anyway, y'all, that's kind of all I have to say. This season was... If I'm going to give a score of the season, I'm going to give it like a B minus. It, I'm just tired of the drama. Um, it wasn't bad, though. The season wasn't bad at all. I feel like, honestly, it was a little bit better than last season. But the reason why I'm saying a B minus is because I'm sick of the fighting, the violence. These are grown women. It is too much. It's toxic. We don't watch these shows to look at toxicity. It's almost like we just want some humor. And honestly, I shouldn't even be watching this kind of stuff anyway. Because I feel like the Lord be getting on me about that. Because like, who wants to put that in your spirit watching that stuff? You know what I'm saying? But that's my two cents on Jersey. So I'm giving it a B- minus for the season. They're not even getting a reunion, y'all. Honestly, they should have gotten a reunion. Like, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. And I heard because it's the, the cast just don't like each other. They just can't even be in the same room together as co-workers, essentially. So I guess the network is just tired of them. So they're not getting a reunion. So, guys, we can forget about that. And I'm sure you guys already knew that. So that's my thoughts on Jersey. Just a hot mess. Wow, son. Wow. That's crazy, yo. Anyway, y'all. So, the next topic I want to talk about, I'm really seeing it be really put out there, is this whole Big Sean and Janae Ayoko situation where... Okay, so Big Sean, you know the rapper, he did an interview with Charlemagne, who was from The Breakfast Club. And so one of the the topics in his interview was Charlamagne asks, like, um, are you and Janae, y'all married? Did y'all secretly get married? Or, and basically, or if not, when y'all get married? Because you've been together all these years. I'm paraphrasing this part. You've been together all these years. Why aren't you married? You have a whole kid. So basically, Sean gives this excuse, nonetheless, about why he hasn't married Janae. He's just saying, oh, we have to work more in our relationship. You know, it's not even just about marriage. Like, we're always going to be in each other's life because we have a kid. Um, we have, we're in a group together, businesses, all this other stuff. So the girls are coming for him on social media and making all these TikTok videos and things like that, talking about, you know, he's just saying this as an excuse. He doesn't want to marry her you know, she's giving him everything that he wants. So why should he marry her? So, I mean, my thoughts are this. And I'm just going to say this. And this is just what I believe. So, because I hear certain people say like, oh, having a kid is a commitment, but then you don't want to commit to marriage. How can I, I'm trying to say how I'm going to frame this. I think personally for me, and I, I'm really getting sick and tired of people saying, oh, you don't need no marriage. Marriage is a contract. It is not. And people say that to justify their lifestyle. They also say it to justify because they're not married when deep down inside they really want to be married. And so they'll use that as, as an excuse to kind of make their situation feel better to them. It is not a contract. First of all, a marriage is a covenant between you and your spouse, between a man and a woman, between you and your spouse. And that's what it is. And with God, he's the one that even created marriage. Man did not create that between a man and a woman, period. Um, number two... When you make that type of commitment, it's not as easy to leave. So, and I feel in my opinion, Sean, I'm going to just say this. If Sean was to really meet his wife today, I'm telling you, he would marry her probably in less than a year. Because Janae has given him too much because she wants this man so much, he is not going to be obligated to marry her. She 
has given him everything that he wants. And for some reason, just as my opinion, I feel like she thought having a kid with him, that will more than likely push him to marry her. And what is it going on two years now? That child will be two years old. He still hasn't done it. And he's sitting up here telling Charlemagne about why they got to work on some stuff. And my thing is this. If he really wanted to marry her, he would have done that years ago before they even had a kid. They were together years ago before a child was even brought into the picture. So, and also too, he probably just don't want to get married right now. And also too, he has not found his wife. It is what it is. Um, I'm not going to speak on the relationship like that because, I mean, none of us know the insides and outs of it. But just looking from the outside in, my thing is to Janae, you want to be with somebody who truly values you and is going to love you like Christ loves the church. And I'm even preaching to myself, y'all. And it's like, why God gives good gifts to his children? He's not going to give you a bunch of... Like, he's not going to give you somebody who just does not see you as as that. And I've heard of stories where people broke up, got back together, got married, things like that. But I just don't want it to be where she's constantly wasting her time. I don't know, y'all. Y'all tell me down in the comments below what you guys think about it. Um, but, Sean, and you know what? I'm going to say this. I'm going to say it. She was married when she supposedly from allegedly was um, dealing with Sean. And then, of course, I think like a year later, her divorce was finalized. And then she came out and said, oh, me and Sean are together. But I think allegedly they were together before that divorce was finalized. I don't care if she was separated. I don't care. She was still a married woman and it was adultery, point blank, period. Anybody can fight me in the comments about it, but everybody knows. If you are not divorced, you're married still to somebody else and you're with someone else, that's adultery. You're in an adulterous relationship, period. And God does not approve of that. Second of all, I think in a way, Sean might think, I could be wrong. I haven't heard anybody say this, but in my opinion, I think that Sean is like, well, you were kind of with me, allegedly, while you were still married to another man, regardless if y'all weren't living together, whatever, you were still married. If you could, you're basically cheating on your husband with me. If you could do that to him and he was your husband, how could I wife you and not think that that could happen to me? Don't think he, he's never thought about that in the back of his mind. I mean, let's be real here. Let's, let's really think about that. And nobody wants to say it. Everybody wants to live any kind of way in the world. And I'm not here to be bashing or preaching to the choir, but I, I got to tell the truth because the truth is only going to set all of us free. I mean, I mean, Jesus offended people all the time in the Bible. So if I'm his ambassador and I'm preaching to myself as well, this ain't just about anybody it's about me too trying to live right then I gotta tell y'all the truth and nobody wants to hear it but it's only gonna set you free to live a life that he's called you to live in a pleasing life but anyway I'm not because I'm not <laughs> I'm not no preacher y'all and nothing like that I'm just saying in their situation that could be also another factor he's always had that probably in the back of his mind like if you did that to your husband basically allegedly cheating with him, what makes you think you wouldn't do that if we got married? You know what I'm saying? Don't think, I, don't, I haven't heard anybody talk about that. And I think he thinks that too. But also too, a man knows who his wife is. And I think he uses her as a placeholder until he finally has, he meets the person he really wants to marry. And that's what it is. Honestly, I don't even think it's so much about him being afraid to marry. He just hasn't met the woman he really wants to marry. And I'm telling you, I am telling you, as soon as he meets her, I'm telling you, he going to marry that woman in like less than a year. He's going to do it. And it's, I mean, it happens all the time. I just think he sees Janae as his placeholder. 
he wanted a baby so bad and she gave it to him and she thought that was, ooh, that's really going to make him want to marry me and it's just not. And I don't know why women keep thinking you're going to change a man's mind. Um, you know what I'm saying? We all have to learn that at some point. But I just wanted to speak on that because I'm like, Janae, you deserve so much better than that. And who knows? If it's God's will for them to be married, then he would have to change both of their hearts. And they need to be in a godly union. In perpetuity. A lot of people don't know that word. Y'all should Google that. So yeah, y'all, that's just my two cents on that topic. But I don't know. Tell me... What y'all want me to talk about next? Um, I really just, I don't know. I just thought I'd come on here just to say a little something to you guys. And I haven't gone away, y'all. It's just none of the shows that I review and recap, they're not on right now. They're actually filming and they won't be on for a few months. So, and there's no other show that I really want to recap. But anyway, y'all, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you guys so much. Um, definitely, uh, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you can be informed whenever I upload a new video. Also, to comment below. Let me know your thoughts on The Real Housewives of New Jersey, what you guys thought about it this season, and your thoughts and opinions on Big Sean and Janae Ayoko and the whole marriage situation between those two. But anyway, y'all, thank you so much for tuning in. And of course, I'd love to say a prayer over you. And so here it goes. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord give you his peace, protection, and favor. This is my prayer over your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Take care, everyone. And I'll see you in my next video. And yeah. Bye.